Hello, today is the 6th of November. It's the first day of COP23. Uh, the COP has just opened uh, with the statement from the COP president, which is uh, the Prime Minister of Fiji, as Fiji is the, uh, the official host of, of the COP, even though it's being held in Bonn in Germany, hosted by the government of Germany. Um, and the issues that he has already raised for us to focus on uh, is the issue of loss and damage in particular, given that we've had a, a series of catastrophic climatic events all over the world this year in 2017, and particularly the series of hurricanes that hit uh, initially Texas uh, with Hurricane Harvey, and then Florida with Hurricane Irma, and then Puerto Rico with uh, Hurricane Maria. Uh, all of which have caused uh, quite significant loss and damage to the tune of possibly well over 300 billion US dollars, which these three states are going to send to US Congress uh, for compensation. Uh, the trouble is that there's no such compensation mechanism at the global level available, although we do have uh, the Warsaw International Mechanism on loss and damage, but it doesn't speak about compensating or financing loss and damage. So we're hoping that in the next two weeks this issue will come on the table and we will try and find ways to find innovative financing to compensate the victims of climatic events uh, through loss and damage because adaptation and mitigation are simply not enough anymore. This is well recognized, but the financing is still a very difficult subject where developed countries uh, tend not to want to go. So we shall see what happens. The other thing that everybody's looking at is what happens with the US delegation. They are in Bonn. Uh, the presidency under Trump, although they have officially withdrawn from the Paris Agreement, it takes place, it, it takes two years to come into force. So they're still part of the Paris Agreement and they didn't withdraw from the UN Framework Convention, so they're still part of the COP as well. Uh, they have sent a fairly low level delegation to Bonn. Uh, we're not quite sure what their attitude will be, although we do hear that they're going to try and promote uh, clean coal as an option, but uh, with a lot of reluctance from the rest of the world to. Uh, support that, but we shall see what happens there. We've got two more weeks of negotiations to go, and I'll be giving my daily vlog at the end of each day.